It had Eric and Isabel's face on the front page with the headline, Billionaire to Tie Knot in Two Weeks. Well, good for them. But just a few days later, I walked into a coffee shop, and to my shock, I saw Eric there. And he was kissing a blonde girl that definitely wasn't Isabel. I just walked away. It wasn't my problem, but I couldn't stop thinking about it. And when her wedding day arrived, I just couldn't not do anything. Even if she hated me, she was my freaking little sister. And that's how I found myself bursting into the church and running like crazy down the aisle. Hold it! This wedding can't happen! As Isabel turned to look at me in horror, I ran straight at her and hugged her. I held onto her tight as she squirmed and shrieked. OMG, you psycho, get off me. I love you, Isabel. I'm not going anywhere till you listen to me. As Eric looked super mad and everyone stared at us, she dragged me off to a small room. What do you think you're doing, Demelza? Isabel, you can't marry Eric. He's a cheater. I, I saw him kissing a girl the other day. I swear, I'm not lying. You think I don't know about that? Well, I do, and it doesn't matter. I stole your man, and he'll take care of me. At least I got rid of you and your psycho mom, so just buzz off. Isabel, listen to me. You're just angry right now. I'm so sorry about everything. Mom was unbelievably cruel to you, and I should have fought harder. You deserved so much better, and you still do. Don't marry this jerk, please. Why do you care? Because you're my little sister, and I miss you so much. I had two things that I loved the most. My voice and you. I lost my voice for good, and I don't want to lose you too. Please forgive me and come with me. Oh, Demelza, I'm so sorry for all the horrible things I did to you. I thought I wanted to marry Eric to tease you, but I now realize that everything I've been doing in my life was to not end up alone. I just wanted to belong to someone. You belong to me. You're my family. I made a promise to Dad to take care of you, and I will. Always. And with that, we hugged each other and walked back to our home. Family always comes first. So reluctantly, I went. When I got there, I found Emma in tears. Her project was all broken and all her team members were gone. Oh God, Emma, what happened here? I, I accidentally crashed into the project model and, and it broke. All my team members left me saying it was my fault. And now I don't know what to do anymore. It's only two hours until the judges come in. It's okay. Don't worry, Emma. I'm here for you. I'll help you fix it. I borrowed some tools from someone and helped Emma quickly build her project once again. When the judges arrived, they were amazed to see such an awesome working model that was built using all these random materials. I shrieked in delight when they announced the winner. It was Emma, and she rolled onto the stage to receive the award. She then went ahead to speak on the microphone, and I teared up when she called out my name. I'm so grateful to Sarah, my sister, who helped me build this awesome project today. She's an amazing person who's always ready to catch me when I fall. But I've done some terrible, terrible things to her. The truth is, I wasn't even mad at her. I was just unhappy with myself. I really want to apologize to her and thank her for everything she's done for me. I'm differently abled and strong. Because of you, Sarah, please forgive me. Forgive your little sister. As the crowd cheered and applauded, I rushed to the stage and hugged her. I love you so much, Sarah. You're the best person in the whole world. I love you too, Emma. After that, Emma and I grew quite close. Like a cold drop of rain coming down from a clear sky. Oh, yeah. Like a honeybee taking off that really shouldn't fly. One day I was in my room when mom came in. Honey, we went to Jessica's foster home, and they told us she ran away. I'm so sorry. Whatever. Good riddance. Toby, that's unkind. Mom, you still think she deserves kindness? After what she did? I'm sure she got manipulated by that boy. Remember? She had a rough past, and maybe she was just trying to fit in and be loved. I know what she did was awful, 
but she was a good girl, and I hope she's okay. Mom's attitude made me feel ashamed of myself, and I soon started regretting the things I said. But I couldn't take it back, because Jessica had vanished. But in a shocking turn of events, an employee from Nathan's dad's company came forward with proof that the product had been stolen from us. They had to pay millions in damages, while his dad served time in prison. The family moved away, and I never saw Nathan again. High school passed fast enough, and after graduating from university, I joined dad's company and helped build it to newer heights. But one day, I was at a shopping mall when I caught sight of a girl who looked like Jessica. My heart was pounding as I ran after her. But by the time I got outside, she was nowhere to be seen. Toby, is that you? Oh my god, Jessica. I, I've always wondered what I'd do if I ever saw you again. I don't even know what to say, except that I'm so happy you're okay. Toby, I've thought of this meeting a million times too, and I really need to say that I'm so sorry. I was so stupid, and I knew even then that you'd never hurt me on purpose, but I ended up hurting you and your family so much. I left because I couldn't face you guys anymore. Please, please say you'll forgive me. I hugged her, and we sat on a bench and talked. After she ran away, she ended up in a foster home again, and they got adopted by some really nice people, and I was so glad her life hadn't been miserable. As I loaded her groceries in her car, I spotted something in her back seat. It was the red sweater I'd given her in the 8th grade. Jessica, do you think I can call you sometime and ask you out on a date? I wanted to since forever. You can ask me right now, and my answer is yes. Gathering my stuff from the locker when suddenly <gasps> I found Jack standing behind me. What do you want, Brianna? I know what you did. What kind of crazy person gives away $10 million? What? How do you know that? It doesn't matter. Just tell me, why did you do that for me? Jack, when I saw you as a kid on the roadside, it broke my heart to think you didn't get as lucky as me to be born to rich parents. That lottery ticket was also just dumb luck. I didn't do anything to deserve it, but I really believed you deserved a better life. I still believe that, and I don't regret giving you the money at all. I can't believe I was such a terrible jerk to the best person in my life. I'm really, really sorry. I don't deserve your forgiveness or your friendship, and I won't ever bother you again. Goodbye, Brianna. I hope you have a wonderful life. He walked away, and I had a lump in my throat as I watched him leave. A few years later at university, I was studying in the library one evening when I realized it was quite late. As I was walking back to my apartment, I suddenly felt like I was being followed. I looked around to find two masked men right behind me. I tried to run, but they caught up instantly, and one of them snatched my bag as the other pushed me to the ground. Just then, someone came out of the shadows and punched one of them. To my shock, I saw it was Jack. The two men started beating him up as I screamed for help. Just then, a policeman came around the corner and the two men ran away. I called an ambulance and immediately rushed Jack to the hospital. He was unconscious and in really bad shape. He went into a coma. Ten days later, I was sleeping on a chair by his bed when I felt a hand on mine. Oh my god, you're awake? Are you okay? Yes, I'm fine. Jack, why were you there that night? How did you even know where I was? I, I regret what I did to you so much, Brianna. So I made a promise to myself to always look out for you. I was too stupid to notice, but all those years, you were my guardian angel. You watched over me and stood up for me when no one else did. I owe you my life, forever, and I love you, Brianna. Finally, you sound like that sweet boy I used to be friends with. I forgive you, Jack, and I love you too. And with that, I leaned in for a kiss.